out of bed and everything like oh there goes my pencil so yeah when you when you're building something always a uh, what what i need to do actually i need to get like loads of pencils because like they always fall out your ear you never find them i've had a cat <coughs> So the two by threes, there, I've got 40 of them, so I am doing 600 on them. They're the studs, they're the uprights. So I only need 28 of them, and then obviously I've got 12 extra for other bits and bobs. Obviously you'll see you need like fillers and sh stuff like that, nearly swore then. The long ones, my 4.8s. going to be a bottom plate, and then it's going to be effectively the wall plate, set at the top. I don't know whether I should um, bother doubling it up. Normally I would if I was framing. I say normally, I've only framed two things before. Um, but I'm not living in it and it doesn't need to be moved or anything. So I might only just do one. We'll see. So to frame a shed, what you need is wood. Uh, a big, fat, expensive double bevel sliding mitre saw most expensive nails known to man some measuring tools and full of screws your drill driver big nail gun some that that's for damp calls a willing apprentice that doesn't mind being shouted at and a little supervisor offer what are you gonna do Get to work. Get to work. Go get the wood, Daddy. So I was going to frame it on my trailer, but I think Lou's going to moan and say that it's too heavy for her. So she's only a weed, isn't she? Um, I'm going to take the wood up, and then uh, I'm just going to frame it on the base, and hopefully she'll be able to cope. Just need to go and grab the wood. Thing is about having uh, Lou as an, an apprentice. She'll just sit there on her phone unless I tell her to do something. So she can't use her own initiative because she, she doesn't really want to do it. Hopefully, if we get the frame up and everything, she'll feel like a sense of achievement, like she's actually done something. She does get stuck in every now and then, but it's, it's hard work, hard work. Top tip, get, grab a packet of these. These are packers. Uh, you should use them around windows when you do the glazing, fit wind, double glazing. Um, obviously I've packed this up so I've got it level. Both sides. Wood's always bowed so grab yourself some ratchet straps and pull it together. Obviously this was bowed out like that. So we're going to get cracking now. Ready? Off, off says yes. Off are you tired? Are you tired? <laughs> Just making this bit of lunch, we've done the back, uh, framed out the back side, so that's Arthur. <laughs> Little contributor. 
Um, so <laughs> I've cut the uh, bottom wall plates for either ends and uh, what we're going to do is we're going to pop up the front and the back and put on two ends roof joists and then I'll frame the, the ends in. Um, I've also got some damp course uh, that goes through bricks usually but I'm going to use it underneath the base because there's no polythene underneath this slab or anything so it will draw up moisture hopefully that extends the life of the shed a little bit more <laughs> Kind of braced it staying there. And then uh, I've got this trim down scaffold hanging up just down here. Let's stop the racking. Um, Lou asked what that was for and what racking was. So basically, obviously, it's braced so it doesn't go that way or that way. But then on these, they can still go like that. So that's what racking is. So you just put a cross brace in just for now. And then obviously, you can take that off once you put the other stuff on then it will stop racking so you can like cut it or apply it on the inside or something like that oh it's been cheaper done for the day I've already got my beer uh, I need to tidy up the tools but it's almost framed so I just need to do the uh, top of the roof there do another few little bits and uh, it's almost there Lou wants to sunbathe and stuff and go for a run tomorrow so I don't know how much I'm gonna get done hopefully um, I can still crack on by myself gonna have some steak and a barbecue again I think I almost live on steak now, don't I? Just taking a bit of time just to double everything up and just make it stronger. So this is triple now, so I've got one there and one there. That's going to help with the cladding as well as give it a bit of strength and agility. Um, I've braced inside as well on the sides, so everything's a bit more solid because I'm going to jump up on the roof now and start doing the roof. 18 mil OSB straight on top. Hopefully Lou can help me get it up there because my arm is gone. I've sprained it and uh, it doesn't want to work today. Hopefully um, I'll get that done and then I'm going to ladder out on the edges and um, I've got some felt as well. I picked it up today and then uh, we'll whack that on. Hopefully it won't take too long, maybe two or three hours and then um, you can tidy up and head off home because I need to drop Lou back. Find it up and then uh, when we slid it up here I already had this piece in just to make sure it didn't slide off the back. Um, this is obviously I put some packers in because I, I didn't do this exact so that's why these packers are always handy. Um, I've put in some screws so I can ping a line. I've got a chalk line and I'm going to ping a line all out and then whack a load of smaller nails in. Else. You can screw it, it probably would be better, but 
it's just it just takes too long. So. so I'll whack in a couple of nails down the bottom just to secure me before I ping the lines. Lou's giving it some. Oh, we can make like a sun deck up here and like sit up here. It'd be wonderful. No, I don't think so. That'd be aggro, wouldn't it? So I've still got like these little bits to fill in. There's one behind me. And uh, sit down here. So I've pretty much done the roof, I'm just putting the shed felt on top because it needs to relax for like half hour or so whilst I finish off around the sides. So it's all done. So I just need to plate the sides and ladder it out a little bit. I'll show you that in a second. I'm going to have to call it a day, I was so close. My battery's run out on my circular saw and my other little circular saw, it just it hasn't got the grunt to get through 18 now. I should have got a plug in one. Anyway this is the ladder bit that I was talking about. It's just to support the edge basically. Um, you do it a bit more substantial if you're doing like a proper roof like on a house or something like that. Um, this is just because I've only done a little bit of an overhang on the side. It's just to stop the rain running down inside the cladding. Um, so yeah almost there. I've laid the felt on top. <coughs> But um, I've run out of battery to do the um, plate brand new, like fascia kind of thing, you know what I mean? Um, anyway, so I'll just have to lay the felt over and just, like pin it down with some breeze box or something like that. So um, yeah, I need to tidy up now. Lou's keen to get home. I've had enough anyway. And uh, yeah, I need a bath and a relax. See you later.